Jake Brennan is here from Disgraceland. Jake, how long did it take you to get your podcast up and running? Um, it took me about six months to write the first episode and produce it. Sis is obsessed with your podcast. I Sis am. is obsessed. I nice. really am. It's a, you're such a great storyteller, and I just get captivated the minute I start listening to each episode. Thank you. Did you hear the Madonna one yet? The Madonna one is, I didn't know half of the stuff that you said in that, in that but episode. But explain, explain what you're doing with each of these artists and the cast. So, okay, so it's a music and true crime podcast, and I try to tell the stories of these musicians through the crimes they've either committed or have happened to them, mm -hmm. rather than just tell the history of, of them in the way that they've been told in the past. And did the Madonna one freak you out, scare you, frighten you? What did uh, it make you do? Uh, it made me, as someone who, you know, I don't go home at night and, and actively listen to Madonna records. Um, uh, never well, have. You're, you're the only one here. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, but I do, I have appreciated her music, but just after researching her and realizing how she used these traumatic events to create incredible art, I left with this amazing respect for her as yeah. a creative. Why is her name Madonna? Um, I don't know. I think her parents had good foresight. I mean, it's a real name. Yeah. I it's didn't know name. that yeah. she turned like that tragic event that happened to her at, in her teenage years. Then she had to basically relive it again in, in a movie. Yeah. And it's just like, it's so fascinating. You can't play any of their music. So you get creative with like the way your sound effects and the yeah. way you tell the story. My idea is to mess with the music as much as possible <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't sound like I'm trying to copy and fail um, and come up with something creative sounding in the, in the process. But Jake, who is the freakiest, scariest artist that we may be afraid to know about? Okay, there was a guy, a hip hop guy in the early 2000s in Los Angeles named Big Lurch who cannibalized his roommate and was arrested running down the streets of Hollywood. Um, I don't know how much I can tell on this show. Well, you pretty much told wow. it all. Yeah, yeah that's I, enough I, for us I, to I drop our I pretty much now jaws. know the, what happens. Wow. Yeah, it gets weirder. Um, but it yeah. gets weirder than eating? It, yeah, really? wow. the story around it is, is incredibly bizarre. It's incredibly now, messed up. Do you do this from a dark room with candles and... <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do? Yeah, because I feel like you need to set the tone yeah. for this kind of stuff. Exactly. Why are people yeah. so fascinated with crime? I, mean, I feel like I crime think, podcasts are fascinating to people. Yeah, I think it's a vulnerability thing. I think people feel vulnerable, and these stories freak them out, and especially when they're about people they may know mm -hmm. and have yeah. already have an established opinion of these folks. Uh, to then hear that these other stories have happened in the process. It's really intriguing and interesting. And you've got a podcast coming up, uh, Whitney Houston, Eminem, right? Uh, Eminem is on Tuesday, and then Whitney Houston will be out in November. Uh, I think the day that uh, Robin Crawford's book comes out on Whitney Houston, my podcast drops as well. Wow. What did you find out interesting to us that might be new news about Eminem? Um, well... Eminem, Eminem was interesting. The thing to me that, that blew my mind was he was sort of at the forefront of this style of hip-hop called horrorcore, which I never really knew of. Mm -hmm. Right. And that played into the incredibly explicit lyrics that he wrote about his uh, the, the mother of his child right. and just where that guy was coming from. We talk about coming from a dark place, real dark. Do you know if any of these celebs hear your podcast? Um, or do you send them to them? Or I, do you... I don't send them to them. I've heard from family members of these celebs, uh -huh. um, which is always interesting. Yeah, I um, bet. And it comes from both angles. But yeah, I mean, I have no idea if they hear them. I kind of don't want to know. I don't. I don't want to be in the business of writing for them. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. But I, I hope in the process of of people hearing Disgraceland, they get despite the fact that these crimes have been committed. I have a deep reverence for almost all of the music that I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. But who don't you have a reverence for? Um, well, Big Lurch, the guy who ate <laughs> <Yeah>. someone. <laughs> that that is uh, that wow. tells me who you are. Yeah. All right, so it is uh, Disgrace, so it's available on iHeartRadio app. Uh, so check that out. Jake Brennan, thanks for coming in, man. Hey, yeah, thanks thank for having you. me, guys. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.